Hello and welcome. Um, today we are going to take a look at the new core plugin bases from Obsidian. Um, it has just come out. Uh, I'm going to play around with it a little bit, see how it looks within uh, my world of Disgraceland here. Um, for those that don't know, all you have to do is basically just update to the newest version of uh, Obsidian. Um, and you should have it within the core plugins. If you, for whatever reason, don't have it enabled already, you just go to your settings, core plugins, bases, and make sure it's checked. Okay, and then to get started here with bases, I think I am going to create a fresh note and I will call this base test. So we will do the base test and then I'm gonna open up the command palette here and I am going to go bases and we can either insert a new base or we can create a new base insert new base will let you create a new base and then embed it into the current file um, create new base is it will allow you to create a base in the same folder as the active file and that just means if I was making my base test uh, file here, my note here within a different folder, it'll create the new base within that folder as opposed to uh, embedding it directly within the note. So then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to insert new base. So what that has given us is uh, this little piece here, untitled.base. But if you'll notice that a new note has also been created down here, untitled, and you'll see the base icon right here. So this is our new base. This is what this is what this is pulling. So let's go ahead and click on it. So right away, um, I can see that it is pulling everything that I have within my vault. Images, notes, everything that exists within my vault. Uh, it is drawing from. So I don't think I want that. Um, so for my purposes, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to filter this. I'm going to, can I search for tag? Yeah, has tag uh, character. I just want to pull my characters right now. Okay, and there you go. So that has now switched from pulling everything in my vault to just pulling characters. And that is happening because every character that I've created within Disgraceland has a tag that says character. So that's why I'm able to do that just very quickly and easily. But I would like to see more. I don't just want to see the, only the file name. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on properties. And I, these all look like different. And I apologize for uh, not exactly being an expert on bases yet. This is my first real uh, playthrough with it. I haven't done anything at all with it. Oh yeah, okay. So that is now showing all the districts they are in, their, their religion that they are a part of, and the territory they are in, and the role that they have within the world. Okay, so that is fantastic. That is pretty detailed there. The last thing I would like to do do is one of the beautiful things about this is I can click on the table up here and I can change this to cards view and you'll notice this is all changed and this is one of the main features of bases is being able to do this so I've changed it to cards view and it, it, the options will appear here um, maybe I will call this cards uh, this is the view. Uh, I'm going to keep this as it is for now. Our image property, um, I am going to use thumbnail. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm going to use thumbnail because all of my characters already have uh, a property uh, thumbnail image set. So I'm just pulling from that already and they are all here. So, okay, let's play around a little bit. We got different card sizes. We can Oh yeah, we can make these bigger, smaller. Can I change hmm. the aspect ratio? Okay. Wow, yeah, okay. And I see here that it's giving me, so you, you can click on it, it'll open the full note. Um, let's go back to our base. Uh, I do notice some of the things get cut off. It's not showing me the full info, but that's, that's all right. And let's just go back up here and take another little playthrough. Uh, let's change this back to contain and play around again. Does that do anything? Okay, so it contains it to that little... Oh, wow. Okay, look at that guy. Okay. 
Well, that is that is just a quick run through of how bases can be set up. Um, sorry for my surprise and bewilderment at this. I, I have not played around with this too much yet, but so far it is very interesting. Uh, I do see why people are saying this may be replacing data view and things like that. Um, there are some things I don't care for. Like I wish this wasn't getting cut off like this. However, what else can you do really? I don't know how, how else you could fit that in. Maybe I'm just being picky. Um, and yeah, so this is just a quick run through of getting bases up and running within a world building setup, just looking at the characters tag. But I definitely see a lot of good use in this, a lot of uh, potential, a lot of visually appealing organization that can be done within the basis plugin. Um, I will be running through bases a lot more. I will be playing around with it a lot more uh, just in my free time as I'm messing around and getting to learn it a little bit better. Um, I just wanted to get something up and running just to give a few steps as to how you can actually get it set up and started within your own worlds and what you can do. Um, you have a bunch of different properties. Assuming you have things, your YAML filled out, you have things tagged properly. Uh, jumping into bases should be pretty smooth if you have all that information already ready to go. Um, once again, I am Mark with Pratt Design and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.